Hi, this is Rob of Precision Zone, and I'm gonna be doing a quick static check on this Yaskawa CIMR P5 inverter. Now, normally, what you're gonna do is let the drive sit for a while to let the DC bus discharge, and then we're gonna check the DC bus to make sure that it's not holding any charge so we can't accidentally get shocked. Well, on this specific inverter, the negative side of the DC bus is very hard to access, and so we're at no risk of being shocked unless you go putting like a screwdriver inside of the drive. So after the drive has been sitting for some time, this charge light will go out and the DC bus should be discharged. And the first thing that we're gonna do is perform a diode check on the transistor module, on the inputs and outputs. Now normally we would do both sides, but since we can't access the one side of the DC bus, we'll only be able to check half the transistor module. Go ahead and put your digital multimeter on the diode check function. And we're gonna take the negative side of our digital multimeter, and then on the, uh, the, this part of the reactor here, and we'll go between L1, L2, and L3. Now at 0.41 volts, these are all nice and balanced, and they should be anywhere between 0.2 and 1 volt. So now we're gonna go ahead and check the outputs. So we'll keep our probe of our digital, digital multimeter on the same spot, and we'll go between T1, T2, and T3. And those are nice and balanced as well. So half of the transistor module doesn't have a problem. And we'll go ahead and now check all of the phases to ground and see if any of them are shorted. So we're gonna take our digital multimeter and put it on the resistance function. You're gonna go ahead and find a good ground and then go on each terminal and make sure that there's no resistance. So I'm gonna use this ground right here. I'll go L1. L2, L3, T1, T2, and T3. Well, all those phases, none of them are contacting ground, so that's a very good thing. If you need any help on how to do this, please reach us at Precision Zone. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.